I've just got this um, motorcycle lift off eBay, and it's ridiculously cheap. It's, um, it was less than fifty pounds delivered. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go anyway. The reviews said that said they might need some tweaking here and there to get it working properly, and it certainly needs some some grease, I think. But on the whole, it looks absolutely fine. Um, it's supposed to say 500 kilograms capacity is the uh, what they claim on the rating. I've no reason to doubt it. It looks pretty solid, and I wanted it to be high capacity or high enough capacity to um, to lift the BMW GS as well as anything else. Um, so I'm comfortable that it'll do that. So I've got these wings to um, to add stability. I might actually put something else on there. I'm not sure, but uh, but yeah, so far so good. The only thing I have noticed is that this screw, this one seems fine. This um, movable platform can be locked in position with this little pinch bolt, but on this one, <clears throat> on this one. The screw won't go in and looking at it it looks as if the, the the nut that they've welded on on here doesn't quite line up with the hole drilled through the the bracket so i'm gonna take that out in fact looking at it there is this slightly wonky isn't it the the screw isn't going 90 degrees it's canted over that way slightly so that hasn't been put on quite right so I'll take it off and probably just run a run a die. Sorry, run a tap down it. I assume that's a metric thread. Looks like M8, perhaps. So that should be no problem. I'll just run a tap down there and just clean out the uh, the hole, and that should be fine. Let's give these little stems. I, I thought these were going to have rubber on them, but they don't. Oh yes, it's got actually maybe it's got some kind of plastic coating on it. Some. Um, it's been dipped in something, I think. It's not just painted, it's, it's definitely got a fairly thick plastic film on it. So maybe that's okay. I was thinking I'd put some um, some rubber on there myself. But perhaps there's no need, not initially at least. These are just screwed in. I think it's not an adjustment, I think it's just the way they're held. Like this. Well, yeah, that could be used for an adjustment, couldn't it? If you need one side to be higher than the other to suit the uh, pickup points on the bike, then you could adjust that up and down. And rust there, but I'll put a bit of grease on that. And uh, yes, yeah, so overall, I'm quite impressed. So just that one sort of manufacturing defect, but I'm not gonna send it back for that. I'll just fix it myself and uh, have done with it. Yeah, the, the jack screw under there doesn't look to be huge, but, um, Good enough for the job. I'm, I've got a reason to think that it wouldn't be. I suppose the danger is that that um, that strips in here and the whole lot collapses. But I don't think that's likely to happen. I'm certainly not going to take it up to more than about 250 kilograms anyway. At this end, it's got a little ball race sort of thrust bearing. Again, not much grease in it. But virtually no grease. Little captive. Um, cage or cage to hold the balls i mean that's okay yeah it's not not the best thing in the world but it's perfectly functional for the sort of use i'm going to give it i'm going to put a bit of grease over that maybe uh maybe just a bit of tape around it silicon self fusing tape just to keep the grease in place and stop it getting grit in it on this side so there's the plastic bobbins again just spacers and then a steel tube here like so it which might actually be welded or pressed into the uh, the scissor arms. But as I say, overall, um, looks good, up to the job certainly, and very good value for money. So an M10 tap. So if I can just uh, run this through here, it should just cut a thread into the. Uh, 
the bracket itself where it needs to and allow this clamp to work. Lubricant. That's biting now, definitely. It's a shame that they um, didn't check this properly. I guess they just slap on the, the nut, weld it on paint the whole thing or, or powder coat it and then just thread a bolt in without checking that it goes all the way through. But uh, it's a relatively easy thing to fix so not too bad. Yeah that's through now I think. Yep perfect. Yeah, so it has indeed cut a thread into the, the bracket beyond the nut. Yeah, it comes straight through now. Good. Yeah, so there's no grease, no grease on these little stands at all. So stuck a big blob on there. Stop it rusting and make it a bit easier to turn. So it comes with this fairly simple sort of socket um, spanner and just some nuts for the Tommy bar. So that's fine, it's perfectly functional. But it's gonna be quicker with the with a drill, I think, and a proper socket. So the realistic lift there is it's getting on for 50 centimeters 500 mil and that's that's 430 at the top of the pattern so yeah, not bad and probably as advertised Fully down, it's down to yeah, ten near enough, ten centimeters, maybe slightly more. But uh, yeah, and that'd be quite useful. I think it's not too big to store, and uh, quite a useful bit of kit. So, it's picking up on the two frame tubes. That's good. Front wheel is well off the ground and it feels pretty solid, quite stable. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. Good. Thanks for watching.